And a big thank you to our friends at Uncommon Ephema. Focus! Focus! Psycho! For primary years! Cheetah, what do you do about rules? Part one. Who's that climbing up the skyscraper? Doesn't he know he could get himself killed? Not likely. That's hey, it's Mark Maron! Climbing skyscrapers is easy for him. How come? Why, he's one of the cat people. They can climb all kinds of things that ordinary men could never climb. You see, they have special powers. Look up on that ledge above him. He's it's gonna knock girl. that glass of water off of it. That's the way, Cheetah. If anybody can save that kid, it's you. Hurry, Cheetah, hurry! Why are you doing the dance on the ledge of the building? Gonna fall off the building. Cheetah's gonna catch her. How daring! <sighs> oh, thank God. Did you see that? He yes. must have jumped 20 feet. And he caught the girl in midair. Landed and then on his landed feet. on the ledge of the next building. On his feet. I don't believe what I just saw. No man can have reflexes like that. No man could jump 20 feet from one skyscraper to another and Look land at Alan on Hale Jr. in the falling. background there. Skipper. You're right. No man could. But Cheetah can. And that's not all he can do. He can also cough up a hairball. Cheetah has powers of superior strength. Like cats. Super speed. Like cats. And perfect balance that no ordinary man could even hope to have. We believe Cheetah in Cheetah! Is a member of the cat people. All the cat people have certain special powers that they use to help people and to fight crime. Most they of the are time, never happy. they dress and play the parts of ordinary people. But when the time comes for the cat people to use their special powers, they dress in their cat disguises. One of their most important rules is to keep their superhero identities a secret. They take an oath and swear to always obey this rule. But we I all know that. I solemnly swear to keep my identity a secret. I will never reveal my association with the cat people to anyone. Not to my wife, not to my son, not to anyone. They will never know me as Cheetah. They will know me only as Sam Wilson. Husband, father, school teacher, and average human being. And the Falcon? This rule is very important, Cheetah. It must never be broken. We can be successful helping you, people Simba. and fighting crime only as long as the crooks don't know who we are. I understand. I promise never to tell anyone that I am Cheetah. Can I get a better costume now than this? Now I will return home to my family as Sam Wilson. And only Sam Wilson. Hey, Dad! Shoot it! Shoot it! Come on! Hurry! Hurry! Trying to get the ball, Marcus! That away, Marcus. Good Dead shot. Dead him. You'd better hurry, Sam. Remember, you wanted to get the money for the new car. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Well, well Marcus, time to go I have rob to a go bank. Now. Can I, I go with you? my own work. No, you can't. I have some business to attend to before I can get the new car. Cat Gee, business. Dad, when are we going to get it? Tonight, I hope, if everything goes as planned. Dad, why are you really covered in cat hair? We don't have car. a cat. Can I help you pick it out? That you can do. Uh, you meet me in front of the car dealers at 7 o'clock. It's seven right next door to the bank. Uh, you won't get lost now. No, I know where it is. Don't worry, I'll see you there at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, I wonder where Marcus is. Hmm. <laughs> it's pitch That's black. Strange. What's the light in the it's bank like, doing on? At yeah, this it's hour like, what is it? Uh, daylight savings time or mm. something? It's, it's the middle of the night. This looks like a job for. Cheetah. No one. I'd say this looks like an illegal withdrawal. Oh no, it's Cheetah. David Spade? What's the hurry, men? I hope you're not leaving on my account. <laughs> Sorry to inconvenience you, but then I'm sure the police can provide you with more suitable quarters. Quarters. Not a 
of fact, it sounds like they're joining the party. Might as well. Sorry, Wait, I so he was going to meet at the bank? With you, but the I bank was closed? To attend to. I don't understand. All right, you men inside the bank. Throw down your guns and come out with your hands up. Otherwise, we're coming in. Now that the job is done, all I have to do is squeeze through the window and jump to the ground. Another job hey, done one for of the cat man. escaping. I better tell the police. Dad, what were you doing in the bank with those crooks? Uh -oh. I can't tell you, Marcus. I just can't tell you. Dad, no. are you one of the crooks? Are you? Tell me, please tell me, Dad, why were you in the bank? I'm one of the crooks. Will Sam Wilson break the most important rule of the cat people by revealing his identity? Or will he keep silent and let his son think he is a bank robber? What know. will he do? What will he do? What will he do? End of part one. Who? Well, Pleasantville, New York. Guess what? Here's part two. What do you do about rules? Uh oh. The court of the cat people is now in session. What? Will the is this accused some kangaroo rise? court? Cheetah, you are charged with breaking the most important rule of the cat people. You are charged with He's revealing your identity. Did you tell your son, Marcus, that you are Cheetah? How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor, but with special reasons. And my defense attorney will tell those reasons to the court. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Professor let us review what happened to Cheetah the day that he revealed his identity. Okay, Mr. Wayne. I mean, uh, what? Cheetah was in a tight spot. He had to make sure and the crooks his were all outfit tied was up for the police. So and them. then he had to get out of the bank before anyone saw him. He climbed out a side window before the police came in. Cheetah didn't know that his son could see him coming out the window. When Marcus He's saw a cat. his father he escaping see from the bank, the he thought his father was working with the crooks. Cheetah had to tell his son the reason he was in the bank. He had to tell Marcus that he was really Cheetah. And now Ladies Marcus and is the kitten! Of the, jury, the accused Cheetah pleads guilty to the charge of revealing his identity. Your duty then is not to decide if he is guilty, but rather to decide what a fair punishment should be. Let us now hear the arguments, starting with the prosecution. Ladies and gentlemen, the question before you jury. today is very simple. Did Cheetah break one of our rules and it's reveal pretty, his identity? It's a pretty and the answer is courtroom. yes. He admits so himself. Since he broke the rule, he must be punished according to the rule book because that is our law. We must take away all of his powers. We must he can give him no a bath. longer be one of us. He can no longer be a member of the cat people. No, we'll have to it make is it only have a pill. fair and proper that we hear a statement from Cheetah's side, the defense. It is your turn to speak. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the... It is my pleasure to defend such an outstanding member of the cat people as Cheetah. He has been very valuable in our fight against crime. It would be foolish to take away any of his powers. Give him the vacuum! He had a good reason for breaking our most important rule. He didn't want his son to think he was involved in a crime. I would Wait like a minute. to remind Is the this jury that we cannot Catman? allow the breaking of a rule every time a member thinks he has a good reason. It's not fair to the rest of us who obey the rules all of the time. If we don't punish Cheetah this time, other members will think they can get away with breaking a rule. But Cheetah has not harmed the cat people in any way by breaking the rule, so there is no reason to punish him. His son yes, is a blabbermouth! Cheetah mouth. has hurt the cat people. I'll tell you how. If the crooks know who we are, it's harder for us to fight them. Cheetah has told an outsider who he is. Now he is of no use to the cat people. 
That is not Banish true. Banish him! Cheetah Banish can him. still be a successful crime fighter. Is, is the, woman the only in the person that knows who he is or is, she just is his own us. son, Marcus. And Marcus has promised to tell no one else. Your Honor, I submit that a young boy of nine cannot possibly guarantee he will keep quiet about Cheetah's identity. He probably means what he says for now, but no one, especially a young boy, can tell what he may do in the future. Why, he might to even talk in his sleep. With Your Honor's permission, I would like to call a witness. This witness has a story to tell which proves that Cheetah has acted without thinking before. I want you to hear that this is not the first time uh -oh. Cheetah has been irresponsible Ooh. and dangerous to the cat people. Oh, no. If we don't take away his it's powers, it may not be the last. Tell us in your own words, Bobcat, about your experience with Cheetah. Well, I remember a time when we were trying to capture the mad magician. Wait, but she's not even wearing thieves. her mask! They had a lot of tricks up their sleeves, so we had to work out a foolproof plan. The mad magician. We wanted to trap them. the mad magicians with the goods, so Cheetah was going to let them rob him. He was supposed to call for help on his cat radio. What happened? Cheetah decided to catch the crooks himself. He wanted all the glory, so he didn't call us. Your witness. Did he capture them? Well, yes, he did, but they almost got away. He oh, should have nobody is talking us. about her that keeping her plan, secret identity with and no we mask. all agreed on it. Thank you. Did he you may cheat step on down, his wife? Defense attorney, did you wish to call a witness? Yes, Your Honor. I call Jaguar to the stand. Oh! He will tell us in his own words about Cheetah. That's true, Razor. Remember the notorious criminal, the octopus? He was tough, all right. We had our hands full fighting him. We couldn't do anything against him. He had more hands than we had cat people. And he made his escape by squirting ink and disappearing into the night. It was He's Cheetah who had the idea for a net. He was in great danger. He had to watch out for the octopus's eight hands. But Cheetah's super speed saved him. Pretty soon, he had Octopus all tied up. Thank you, Jaguar. Does the prosecution want to question the witness? Of course, the Octopus escaped because he can squeeze through the bars. No, Your Honor. Well then, gentlemen, if you have no more witnesses, you may tell the jury your final arguments. You may begin. Thank you, Your Honor. Meow, 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 Cheetah meow, has meow, always meow. been a loyal member of the cat people. He has always done his best in our fight against crime. He True, rarely licks he his crotch this in one public. rule, but he had a good reason for doing it. We all would have done the same thing if we had been in the same position. If Cheetah is never allowed to use his powers again, surely there will be more crime. We need sure, Cheetah to help us. Sure, he got up on the us. counter, but what are you going to do? I think it would be foolish to punish Cheetah by taking away his powers. Are you finished? Yes, Your yes, Honor. Your Honor. And now for the prosecution. Like my colleague, I too Wait, that's am the concerned same guy. about fighting <laughs> crime. The same voice. I think the entire problem comes to this. When Cheetah told who he was, Cheetahs did never he help win. us or hurt us? I say he hurt us. Therefore, you must punish him. Does he not get punish to testify? Severely. We're going to get the squirt bottle out. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you have now heard both sides. What happens to Cheetah is up to you. You must first decide if Cheetah should be punished at all. Secondly, you must decide what that punishment should be. Is it fair and just to take away all of Cheetah's powers forever? Or would some other punishment be better? Like a Marvel movie. Oh, maybe not. <laughs>